Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Noah back again with another video. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about how you can manifest abundance and how this one, the number one, one of the most effective ways, if not the most effective ways to create wealth and prosperity in your life. And how to just overall increase happiness, you know what I'm saying? And that is changing your mindset. Now, what do I mean by changing your mindset? In my opinion, I feel like we are all conditioned to have a set of certain beliefs. You know, when you're born, when you get older, most people in the US have this belief that we have to go to public school and then we have to go to college um, to get a good job and to eventually become financially successful. You know, that's what we're all told. And so it's conditioned within our minds that we have to believe that, you know what I mean? In order to, not that we have to believe that, but just that we have to abide by that to be financially abundant, which just isn't the case, you know? I'm sure you've heard of cases where people, you know, high school dropouts, Eminem was a high school dropout, you know, certain celebrities and different things like that didn't really, they didn't really go to college Obviously, some of, some of them did and some of them got into education, but it's just not as common, especially nowadays. And that all starts with, you know, up here. And I have a whole video on how your belief system creates your reality, but it really does. And, you know, reprogramming your mind, your brain into believing that you are enough and that you can do whatever you put your mind to. I'm sure you guys have heard that too. Whatever you put your mind to, you can accomplish. You know, Jesus was able to walk on water, but how was he able to walk on water? It's because he knew he could do it. There was no, there was no limit in his mind as to whether he could do it. But then you say, oh, well, he was, you know, he's a child of God. Well, we all are the child of God, technically. That's what it says in the Bible. Peter did it. You know, he didn't do it for a long time, but he was able to walk on water. You know what I'm saying? So if that's the case, then why, why are we so conditioned to believe that we have to go to school and do all these different things to be able to achieve all these you know, prosperity and, and abundance and stuff like that. You know, why can't we believe that we can do whatever we want to achieve financial success and financial freedom? You know, which is why it's important to change your mindset. You know, you have to be telling yourself on a day to day basis, like I am worthy enough and I am good enough. And I'm in control of my life. And it all starts with you, you know. Reprogram, and it's hard, you know what I'm saying? Like through all social media and stuff like that, social media teaches us that we have to, or it tells us that we have to look a certain way when in reality, it's just not true. You know, it's all an illusion. It's not, it doesn't really make sense, you know. <laughs> Like you see, I know you see a lot of lighter models on social media. There's not really a lot of, a lot of like darker skin models. And it's just sad because, you know, race is, is just an illusion. It's not, it doesn't really exist. Race was a term that was created way back when, who knows when, but you know, someone created it, right? So yeah, it just it just doesn't really exist. And you have to be able to kind of overcome these beliefs that you've been conditioned to believe and say, wait a second, I am worthy of financial abundance because I am here. You know what I'm saying? Anybody here is, anybody who's living on this planet is is worthy of it. They just have to tap into it within their mind and they have to be able to 
to say, okay, I am, you know, I am worthy of it and I want to do what I want to do to be able to get there. And yes, obviously you have to have discipline and it's it's not going to be easy, but anything that was easy isn't really worth the reward. You know what I'm saying? Like I said in my previous video, if someone handed you a million dollars, you wouldn't really feel as good as if you kind of worked for it. You know what I'm saying? Same with if you got a six pack, you know, if someone just gave you a six pack, it'd be cool. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? But if you ain't working for that, then it's not like, what's the point in having a six pack if you didn't really work for it? So yeah, same thing goes with with being able to sustain financial freedom and you know you have to build something you know if you're if your belief system is all based on oh well i have to go to school and do all this this extra stuff then you have to re reprogram your mind and and you have to believe that i can do whatever in my mind whatever my mind whatever I put my mind to. And we all have special talents. We all have abilities. You know what I'm saying? That's why we're here on this planet to express those abilities. And like I said before, yeah, we have to, obviously you have to think about, it takes time to develop, you know, your, your lifestyle, what you want to do for a living. You know, for me, it took me a long time. I didn't really know really what I wanted to do with my life for like a while. Up until recently, you know, I've been able to, with me posting YouTube videos and stuff, I've kind of just been able to go into this flow state where, where I'm creating YouTube videos, but I'm also thinking of ideas where I can expand my branding and expand were different platforms you know what i'm saying the richest people in the world you know what i mean get paid in their sleep it's like why why can't you do that too like you look at yourself compared to bill gates what separates you from him you know obviously he has a, a certain talent he was able to build a whole company you know off of pc and microsoft but why can't you as well? You know what I mean? I'm not saying why can't you build a foundation like PC or something like that, but you have your own ability just like he has his own ability. You know what I'm saying? If someone is good at basketball, you know, and they want to pursue the NBA, then it all starts within their belief system. They have to believe that they can do it. Everybody who's in the NBA right now wouldn't even be there if they didn't know that they could already get there and if they didn't have a vision within themselves, you know, so it's very important for you to have a vision and goals and to work towards those goals. And I'm not talking about numbers, you know, the numbers will come when you're when you're doing what you love and what's your passion is, but you have to find your passion and you have to be able to believe that you can accomplish and you can attain financial freedom through your passion and if you don't know what your passion is you can meditate on it you can you know just go within and just quiet everything down meditation is a wonderful way to just ask yourself questions and just be able to figure out what you want to do going outside great way nature is so cleansing sun gazing you know another great way to be able to attain access into information about yourself you know you're just learning yourself really so yeah that being said you know you have to it starts with up here it's the most important tool within your whole body besides you know your heart maybe right but you have to be able to to say hold on a second I've been conditioned to believe this throughout my whole life. But, you know, how am I going to be able to become financially free if I'm, if it's based on beliefs that aren't even mine? You know what I'm saying? Like, did you come up with those beliefs? You have to ask yourself that question. 
so yeah that's pretty much um gonna wrap it up for this one you know financial freedom you have to be able to be open-minded and to be able to test different things you know if you don't know what your passion is like i said meditate go outside be able to connect with nature and it's all about what's your what you're thinking in your head and what your belief system is you have to believe that you can do it and you have to just tell yourself like i am worthy for it and with that being said, yeah, like I said before, I'm going to wrap up this video. But yeah, just gratitude, gratitude in general, just being grateful for the things you already have and not really expecting a lot. Because when you don't really expect a lot and you're just grateful for just being on this planet and you're grateful that you're able to help out other people just by being yourself, then, you know, abundance comes naturally to you. So yeah, with that being said, guys, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have anything that you want to say to me, let me know in the comment section down below. You can also hit me up on Instagram, Noah underscore Machado18. I'm going to be posting clips of me singing on there soon. So yeah, if you want to see that, check it out. And you can DM me on Instagram too. Just whatever you have on your mind, just let me know. Even if it's hate, I don't care write a comment or write write me anything but yeah i love you guys have a wonderful afternoon evening or night wherever you're staying at and peace